Hi, today we are going to learn multiplication of polynomials. So let's first revise what polynomials are. So let me first write a few terms or few expressions. These are 4x, 3y, 6z and 2a. And let me write few more expressions like 4x plus 3y. It has two terms which are 4x and 3y. So expressions which has only one term like 4x, 3y, 6z and 2a, they are called monomials. And the expressions which has two terms, like the second one which I have written, it has two terms, 4x and 3y, this is called binomial. And we can have few more expressions which has more than two terms, like uh, 4x plus 6z plus 2a it has three terms and let me write one more which is like which goes like 4x plus 3y plus 6z plus 2a it has four terms so the expressions which has two or more terms they are called this has two terms then we have three terms then we have four terms these are called polynomials. Okay. So the expressions which has only one term, they are called monomials. Expressions which has two or more, like this has three, this has four, this has two, they are called polynomials. And binomial is a special name given to the expressions which has only two terms. Okay. So this was our revision about the different types of expressions in algebra. So today we are going to learn the multiplication of polynomials. So let me first erase this because this was just to revise our earlier knowledge. To start with, let me write two binomials because understanding the multiplication of polynomials becomes easy if we start with binomial. So let the first binomial be 3x plus 6y and the next binomial be 2x plus 5y. And these are to be multiplied. So I have written them adjacent to each other. At this point, let us revise one more thing, which is distributive property of multiplication over addition. I think we have talked about this earlier. We have learned this identity in third standard, which is A multiplied by B plus C is actually equal to A multiplied by B plus A multiplied by C. Okay, here also we have terms in almost similar format. If we consider this first expression as A and this part of the second expression as B, like 2x as B and this 5y as C. So, and so the multiplication using this identity will be A will be written as it is, which is 3x plus 6y multiplied by 2x, then this plus sign, again a, that is 3x plus 6y multiplied by 5y. 
okay this can also be rewritten as 2x multiplied by 3x plus 6y plus 5y multiplied by 3x plus 6y I have just swapped the order of multiplication because we know if two numbers are multiplied they can be multiplied in any order which is like 3 into 2 is equal to 6 and 2 into 3 is also equal to 6 so in multiplication changing the order doesn't matter now this new expression is again in the same format which is a multiplied by b plus c so let's distribute this 2x over this bracket first let's put all these equal to sign because everything has the same value so this will be equal to if we distribute this 2x over 3x plus 6y it will be 2x multiplied by 3x and this plus sign 2x multiplied by 6y then this time this plus sign 5y multiplied to 3x which is 5y multiplied by 3x then this plus sign and 5y multiplied by 6y 5y multiplied by 6y so if we solve this further we'll get how to solve this if we multiply two algebraic expressions first we have to multiply their constants that is 2 3 is a 6 and then we multiply variables and if the variables are same we'll write variable and then we write a number in power which represent how many times it appears so here x appears two times so it will be x to the power 2 that is x square then this plus sign again constants multiplied 2 6 are 12 this time variables are different here we have x and this is y so we'll write them in alphabetical order x y so if 2x is multiplied to 6y it will give us 12 x y then this plus sign and 5y multiplied by 3 is 5 3 is a 15 and variables in alphabetical order that means x y and then this plus sign and then we have 5 6 a 30 y square so if we solve this further we'll get 6 x square plus 12 xy and 15 xy 12 plus 15 is 27 27 x y plus 30 y square 30 y square so this was one method of doing multiplication of two polynomials now let's see our original expression again let's see our original expression and I want you to see one more thing so let us see our original expression and I want to remove these markings so the things become a bit more clear okay so let's see our original expression which is this and I want you to see this expression also so let's see them carefully what is this term this is 2x multiplied by 3x which is 2x multiplied by 3x 
and the second term is 2x multiplied by 6y which is 2x multiplied by 6y. What is our third term here? It is 5y multiplied by 3x. It is 5y multiplied by 3x. And what is our fourth term? It is 5y multiplied by 6y. So our fourth term is 5y multiplied by 6y. So if we see it carefully, what we actually are doing? We are taking one bracket. In this case, we are taking second bracket. We are taking the second bracket. And then we are taking its first term. And then we are taking its first term and multiplying it to the other terms, all the other terms of the first bracket, isn't it? We are multiplying this 2x by 3x and then we are multiplying this 2x by 6y. When the first term gets multiplied by all the terms of the first bracket, then we take, take the next term of the second bracket and then again repeat the procedure. So in this procedure, we directly reach here. From here we reach directly to this step. These two steps can be omitted if we practice it, practice this method, then you follow next steps and you will reach the and you will get the answer.